Hydroxyapatite toothpaste is trending. In this video, I'll explain to you guys why Dr. Jens may be one of the best on the market. Let's talk about it. Now, in case you missed the memo on hydroxyapatite, I've made an entire video dedicated to explaining what hydroxyapatite is, all the pros and cons, how it compares to fluoride, all the things. So if you guys need to, you can watch that video. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, in order for you guys to understand why Dr. Jens may be one of the best hydroxyapatite toothpaste on the market, you guys need to understand a couple of things about hydroxyapatite itself. There are a couple of factors that determine how effective a hydroxyapatite toothpaste will be. That includes the percentage or concentration of hydroxyapatite appetite within the toothpaste itself, as well as the particle size and shape. So in terms of the particle size and shape, there are two categories. There is the micro particles and then there's the nanoparticles. Any toothpaste that contains micro particles is ineffective. In order for hydroxyapatite toothpaste to be effective, it needs to be nano sized particles. So any toothpaste that contains micro sized particles is not effective. Now in terms of the nano sized particles, there are a couple of subcategories of the shape of the particles themselves. There's raw shaped, there's needle shaped, and round, and I believe just irregular shaped. The most effective hydroxyapatite particle is rod shaped. Now percentage is also important. Studies show that in order for hydroxyapatite to be effective, it needs to be at a concentration of 10% or higher. Now I feel like this statistic is a little bit hazy because I just did a review on David's hydroxyapatite toothpaste and they don't disclose their percentage. They did mention that it is less than 10%, but they do have lab studies showing that it is just as effective as some of the most effective brands out there and actually even surpasses some brands. So I'm not sure how much the percentage really matters. Maybe it's a combination of the particle size and shape. Like you could have 10% micro-sized hydroxyapatite and it won't make a difference, right? Because micro isn't gonna work. Or you can have 10% nanohydroxyapatite that has circular or irregular or needle-shaped nanoparticles. Again, not as effective as the rod-shaped. So maybe it's a combination of higher percentage and high quality nanohydroxyapatite particles. Anyway, how does Dr. Jen's toothpaste match up to all these stats? Well, first of all, a tube of Dr. Jen's toothpaste costs about $20. There's the Cool Mint, there's the Strawberry Flavored, as well as the nanohydroxyapatite fluoride combination toothpaste. This one's the most expensive. I believe it's like 25 US dollars. But anyway, 20 bucks for the regular nanohydroxyapatite mint flavored toothpaste. Again, Dr. Jen's does does contain the 10% minimum requirement for hydroxyapatite concentration. I'm not quite sure the shape. I'll try to get that information from them and maybe leave it in the description or in a comment below. And then the RDA value or relative dentin abrasiveness or basically how abrasive the toothpaste is, is 50 units. Uh, now, just for comparison, 250 is the maximum amount allowed by the FDA. So 50 is actually quite low, which is great. It's not a very abrasive toothpaste, meaning it won't damage your gums or your enamel. That's a really important factor for me, especially the older I get, I'm noticing, you know, my gums have a little bit of recession here and there and low abrasive toothpaste is great to prevent further recession. Now, how well does this toothpaste actually work? Well, I've been using the strawberry flavored toothpaste for about a week now. Not really enough time to notice any changes or improvements in my teeth or anything like that. But so far, I will say I do like the flavor. My son, my toddler likes the flavor as well. I did notice that after I brush my teeth with the toothpaste, it does leave kind of a gritty feeling for a little bit afterwards but I did check with Disclosing Solution and it's not plaque, it's just a, maybe it's just me. And then just a couple of days ago, I started trying the mint flavored one and I really like the flavor as well, but the mint one also feels maybe a little bit, I don't know how to describe it, maybe gritty or when you eat like a not ripe banana, that kind of weird feeling on your teeth or something. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I'll continue to use this toothpaste for at least a month and I'll get back to you guys with an update. By the way, if you guys find this video helpful so far, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I appreciate your support. But anyway, I will be continuing to use this toothpaste and I would love for you guys to join me on this journey. So I'll be giving away two Dr. Jen's toothpaste. One is a strawberry one and then the nanohydroxyapatite fluoride combo one. So if you guys wanna enter the giveaway, 
All you have to do is subscribe to my channel, comment below this video, and include this emoji in your comment so I know that you're uh, interested in the giveaway. And then one important rule is you have to live in the United States. I don't do international shipping right now, sorry. But anyway, subscribe, comment, emoji, and then check back next week to see if you won. I'll tag the winner in a comment below. Alrighty, if you guys have any further questions, comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care of your tea. We'll